What's up guys, this is Jack McNeil, I'm going to be talking one, two, three here, hope you guys are having a great night. Now you're probably wondering why Steven Strasburg is on the screen. Uh, we all know he's extremely good and one of the best pitchers in the major leagues. But why is it relevant? Because Matt Harvey has done something that no one has done since Steven Strasburg, and also that no one has done since around the 1900s. He has struck out 11 in his major league debut, one more, and he would have beat Steven Strasburg for most strikeouts in a debut. He also... Um, set a new Mets record for strikeouts in the debut. Once he got like nine, he had set a Mets record. And also he had done something that no one has done since 1900, and that is get two hits and strike out 11. So you probably heard the word 11 like eight times in the past like 10 seconds. So let's get to, let's talk a little bit about Matt Harvey here. So he gets promoted uh, because... Dylan G gets hurt and he seems to be the best candidate to replace him. Not really because the Mets have tons of other options. They really don't. The, you know, their rotation hasn't been really the problem this year. It's been the relief pitching, but they've had to have guys like Miguel Bautista in the starting rotation, so you know they're running out of options. So the Mets, obviously, they have Zach Wheeler and Matt Harvey, two really good pitching prospects as number two starters both. So in a few years, if Johan Santana is still there, uh, it would be a great rotation of Johan Santana, Zach Wheeler, and Matt Harvey if everything uh, turns out the way it should. Um, so that's a really good top three in the rotation. But really, Matt Harvey and Zach Wheeler are going to team up in the next few years and be um, really great pitchers in this rotation, and this Mets team might not be so bad in a few years. This year has been extremely good, though, for the Mets. Uh, yes, the last 12 out of 13 games they've lost and losing six in a row has been extremely devastating for Mets fans because they were in the playoff hunt. They're a few games back and they had played extremely well for the first half of the season. They were one of the best surprises in baseball. They had just been playing so much better than expected. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. It was a magical season for them. I enjoyed watching the Mets. I rooted on for the Mets um, because, again, you have to feel bad for the situation. They have had a terrible financial situation. They've had um, the new ballpark. Not that many people are coming up. Showing out, you know, showing up for the games. They've had situations with contract situations. They've had tons of injury situations. Jason Bay, Yohan Santana, and things are starting to work out for the Mets. And David Wright's had a fantastic year, a big part of that. Um, and the relief pitching has just let them down tremendously uh, the past few weeks here. And really, I thought relief would be somewhat of an improvement over last year after they acquired a bunch of guys in their trade when they traded away Angel Pagan. They got you know Andres Torres and they got uh, Ramon Ramirez and then. And things have just gone downhill. I mean, there's been a lot of relievers underperforming. They've been just literally terrible. They finally cut Miguel Bautista today, so should be some improvement there. I mean, honestly, if they had a lot of options to call up, I feel like they would just cut everyone and then call up a bunch of guys because they really can't do much worse than what they've been doing relief-wise the last few games. And I think in the trade deadline, they will acquire a reliever. I don't think it's going to be a big move, but they're looking at backup catchers and relievers. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, this Mets team can figure it out and get on a roll again because I do feel for them. They had a great run, uh, and it just hasn't worked out the past few weeks, but I think they can figure it out. They still have a pretty magical team in the sense that, you know, they found ways to win when they weren't expected to, uh, and they really did keep up in the NL East. They're not going to win it, obviously. I don't think they'll make the playoffs. Um, that terrible stretch will haunt them, and I don't even know if they'll get back into it, but this is a step in the right direction. It gives Mets fans some hope for this season and the next few seasons. As he, Matt Harvey, with the Mets not having many options, they're going to start him for the rest of the year. You can get through some of those growing pains, see how he does. But if you just look at Matt Harvey skill-wise, you know, he can reach 98 mile an hour. He works in the mid-90s. Remember, he was drafted 7th overall in 2010. He projects exactly how the Mets wanted to project him as a number two starter. Um, he's, a, he's somewhat of a power pitcher here with the 10.9K per nine uh, rate in 2011 in high A. That dropped just barely when he went to double A to 9.7 and triple A 9.2. So you're looking at a guy who, yes, he didn't have the most success in triple A. He had good numbers, not standout fantastic numbers, but you're expecting someone who was just drafted like a year before um, to go through some of those growing pains. But his strikeout per nine rate is absolutely fantastic. But tonight, I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, he goes five and a third innings, and he strikes out 11. And this Diamondbacks team, yes, they're not the best team. They've had their struggles this year, but they still have some very good hitters. Guys that have had, you know, all-star seasons like Aaron Hill, Miguel Montero. Justin Upton has had a down season, but he's still having a very good season um, when it just comes to production for an outfielder. So, you know, now the bullpen also for the Mets has just given up a run. It's 3-1. So... 
going back to it though, you know, this is not a terrible offensive team. This is not the Houston Astros. This is not one of the worst teams in baseball. It's a pretty good offensive team, and to strike out 11 times in five and a third innings is absolutely unbelievable, and it's almost unprecedented. And for Mets fans, this is definitely beyond expectation. I mean, you can dream about him striking out 20. But if you think realistically, for him to strike out 11, it's absolutely fantastic. Gives them hopes. And you know what? He could be the Mets number two starter for the rest of the season. We'll just see how it goes. Now, he can work out some things, and he probably will develop even farther when he goes on the Major League roster. He has some fine tunes. You know, he can sharpen his, his changeup, his breaking stuff, has some work to do on it. His fastball is, is pretty nice right now. But he will learn that you can't just get guys out from the left side um, just throwing fastballs. So he will learn things on the way. Um, and I think, you know, his development has been kind of rushed, but the Mets have run out of options. He's still a very solid choice to go with, and we'll see how he goes uh, the rest of the year for the New York Mets. I hope him the best. So let's just take a step back and appreciate this, because I think we all remember when Steven Strasburg had his debut and struck out 11, and this could be a similar situation. I'm not saying he's going to be a Steven Strasburg at all, but uh, a completely different pitcher. But I think it's a historic day for Mets fans and could be a historic day for obviously Matt Harvey. I want to congratulate him and the Mets. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.